just get it. All right. So apparently they saying something about they. I've seen these videos all the time, but I don't know. I don't know what to make out of it if it's true or not or whatever. So I'm gonna cover it. I want to know what's going on. So you know, it is what it is. But let's get it. Let's see what they're talking about. Saying their channel is supposed to be the del maybe deleted. So I don't know what that's supposed to be about. But we about to find out now. I'm just now finding out myself. Today's topic, where we've been, um, I've been dealing with some stuff on the back end. We got a bit of a problem where, as you can see in the title, uh, it a looks like the Jubilee channel is trying to have us deleted. Now, what? Maybe that's not the best characterization, but we don't know if they're trying to have us deleted. Well, what they're doing might result in us being deleted. Yes. Uh, we had videos recently that were flagged, uh, some new, some old, by a company called LDS Affiliate, which okay. on behalf of Jubilee is flagging a bunch of their videos saying that we are infringing on their copyright. Now, I'm not going to make a video about something like this normally. I appeal it. I go through the same steps that I do. With what all the other in channels. the world? Generally, after appeal or two, everything gets uh, undone but this time no they're going forward with the removal and they're saying if these videos are not removed in the next five to six days they will delete they will give us a copyright strike and there's enough of them that we would probably get three copyright strikes and have all the channels removed now yo you guys might be saying ah but why aren't you panicking uh see that's the that's the thing about doing the whole reaction arc of youtube and everything stuff like that like they've been covering jubilee i covered like a couple of them uh, i ain't getting nothing on my, my end about that but um when you have enough videos on your channel and then they flag them like one by one and everything like that it's like because they did it so many times it's like you instantly just you're instantly just gonna be getting your channel deleted because you covered so many videos of them no telling from what i've seen on the screen they uncovered like three probably more than that because i think the one before that i think it was a a jubilee um video so it's probably like four or five right there on the screen that they covered so yeah that's that's a big deal that's the whole thing about doing the whole reaction arc and everything you know where the niche of youtube and everything like that you got to pick you know it's kind of like pick your poison a little bit but you don't know where the poison gonna come from after the fact and these videos probably are old and that's the that's the thing about youtube and people doing the whole flagging and everything like that when they flag certain videos or something like that they, they go back and get go and get it all you know and everything they probably did that video like years ago and did they do this years ago? Let me see. Let me see. Let's see if I can come back up to it. Okay, here it is. It don't really say how long ago they did it. But this is like three right here. <laughs> but it said this video, so it's not really saying they channel. So they might be, as far as I know, they still, still in the clear. So we'll, we'll see. I appeal it. I go through the same steps that I do with all the other channels. Generally, after appeal or two, everything gets uh, undone. But this time, no, they're going forward with the removal. And they're saying if these videos are not removed in the next five to six days, they mm. will delete, they will give us a copyright strike. And there's enough of them that we will probably get three copyright strikes and have all the channels removed. Now, you guys might be saying, Abba, wow. aren't you panicking? Um, there's a couple of reasons. One, uh, I've always thought this was possible with YouTube. That's why I told you guys, enjoy us while we're here, because we could disappear at any point. Uh, and yeah. two, no, that's really the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason I'm not panicking. I think I've always kind of, I got a bit of a doomer mentality in that regard. So this shit might go. And it's a bit frustrating because, yeah, you know, if somebody does this kind of stuff, it's like, okay, maybe, maybe they're crazy about their copyright. But it's a bit different with these guys because they've already been on the record saying they're fine with this kind of content. So I remember this because I remember we reacted to this a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, here, I'll play the I would think I that. don't like when other channels react to our videos. Taylor? Disagree. Dan? What? Disagree. John? They did a video agree. on it? Jason? Strongly disagree. Kendra? 
Disagree. No, Tubali. Tyree. <laughs> Tubali. What the hell? Rogany. Strong. What the hell kind of? What? Say what? What? Who is this Tubali? Man, man, get the hell out of here, yo. So I'm seeing. So he did react to this before, and a bunch of people gonna sit up there and say they disagree with it. Only disagree. Randy. Somewhat agree. I've been preached. <laughs> you naming them now? Okay. <laughs> I do agree that sometimes when they're just being judgmental for no reason, then it's, I don't like that either. But I feel sometimes some of the reaction videos are actually so funny. Yeah, I, I watch Avin Preach videos. And I think every time I watch a video, it like hurts. Because I remember when Avin Preach reacted to our video when Bonnie has a conversation with um, a Jubilee critic. Like that, like watching that video, I think that ruined my like entire week. Like I was very like bummed because... That was a video where I put like so much effort into, but I don't know. I just like keep watching them. I, even though yeah. like I don't love them, like I enjoy watching the videos and like I learn a lot and I'm like really curious. I know what? they are playing the game fair. I just sometimes don't like the game. You're I'm going to get roasted. Oh, yeah, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Bye, John. What a lot of folks don't know is we allow folks to monetize off of our content, right? And that's a deliberate choice that we've made is actually that we could take away their monetization so that they're not making money off of using our content, but we actually give them that permission and we think that's one of the ways that we continue to operate in the spirit of like our mission. Like I'm, I'm pretty honored in some ways that PewDiePie is reacting to so many of our videos. He's like literally one of the biggest YouTubers ever. And the fact that he is watching our videos so intently and reacting to them, like that's, I think it's a great sign. And, and mind you, they talk about the fact that we react that was, yo, that's mind blowing. That's mind blowing right there. Like, why were they just singling y'all out? Like, that's crazy. And I'm sitting out here looking like, like looking like, okay, is this a, is this like a um a skit or something like that? No, this is the actual <clears throat> CEO and the writers and and producers and everything of the actual Jubilee um channel and they feel this way about album and preach yet there's other people that actually like that really actually like reacts to their stuff i've reacted to a few of them there are a few other youtubers i look at that reacted to some of this stuff because they were talking about certain topics and certain things for that day yeah they react to it but why singling them out like this is not making any sense like wow this is mind-blowing back to our channel some of these say like the criticism is a bit harsh but hey it's part of the game it's fine right so my question is what's changed and if it has changed why didn't you just have it publicly said we don't want anyone else reacting but that's not i've not heard have you heard anything to the contrary no but they don't have to advise anybody they can change that decision no nope. that yeah agree exactly most of them mostly somewhat dis disagree or somewhat agree or whatever so they're very like more much of an offense if that guy is not part of jubilee no more no he's a ceo he's still part of it oh, okay well then i got nothing and here's the thing i question okay fine let's say you don't want us because you feel like it's a copyright infringement. Are you doing this to everyone else that you collaborate? Because you collaborate with a lot of these crazy. Are you doing this to PewDiePie? Are you doing this to Cody Co? Nope. Are you guys targeting nope. all these people that you've nope. worked with that are creators who nope. react to their stuff and tell them to take down their, their videos of you? That's the thing that I don't understand. While fresh and fit, just pearly things and every little loser in the red pill space are taking L's. Again! <laughs> we want you guys to get some W's with today's sponsor, Surfshark. You need a VPN changer in your life. I know that because you like to be outside just like me. You book hotels and this and that. First, it's a known fact that if you're below, okay, and you add the coupon, ABBA and preach, preach, you're going to get three months free, 30 day money back warranty. Get it. Maybe they okay. just hired this company and this company is going crazy and mark flagging anything and anything. Because mind you, these videos have been up for five years. So this is a see? new change that some of this is. And for see, that proves my point. That proves my point. They had them videos up for years. And then all of a sudden, now out of nowhere, they just sit up and be like, oh, well, we feel this way about album preach and all this other stuff and everything. And then he hit the nail on the head 
when he start start talking about PewDiePie and all the rest of stuff, there are a few a few other YouTubers out there that reacted to some of their stuff too because some of the topics that they talk I, I applaud them for touching topics that didn't nobody touch before and have people asking questions about it and everything like that trust me i love the channel and what they stand for but it's just come on man like you singling them out but you're not really trying to sit up there and get at the others not that i'm saying that you should but at the same time if you're gonna go all the way through with it go all the way through with it don't just go and stop at one person or two people go all the way through with it you know get all the rest of them too don't be trying to sit up you know be thanos with it you know if you want to don't collect one collect all of them you know just go ahead and you want to get the get your videos off and everything like that copyright or whatever just tell them you know just tell them to remove the the videos first and just like you know just like he was saying they're not obligated to come off they can come off anytime and say it i mean yeah they, they could they could but don't you think you need to be a professional courtesy to sit up there and send somebody an email at least and sit up there and just be like hey can you take the video down or whatever like that and everything no they 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 just want to stick it to them. That's all that was. They just want to stick it to them. So, I mean, I've just got wind of album preach just just because of um, fresh and fit, of course, because they've been they've been on a rampage with them for a while. So that happened to trickle across my desk, you know, a little bit. So that's how I got wind of day channel. But at the same time, it's like why singling them out? I mean, it don't make any sense. I'm 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 all about fairness. So if you're gonna go for it, you know, that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna go for their videos, I mean, go for everybody else's too. Don't don't stop with one person just because you don't like the the cold hard hard truth about what he bring up and everything like that. I gotta admit, I give props to Albert and Preach so much because they go in depth about videos and everything. Everything they get a topic on and everything like look. I like me some fresh and fit, but the past couple of videos they did, and just like the edit he just did not too long ago, he they been going in on them. Like I'm like to the point that I'm like, like dang, like I don't even know if I should even watch Fresh and Fit anymore and everything. But they they went in on them. Like they give you the cold hard facts and stuff like that. So you know. You don't want nobody critiquing your your work and your content that's what that is it boils down to and if that's the case tell them to take it down or whatever like that but they just feel like oh well they did enough videos we're gonna try and get rid of them and everything so i don't, I don't know i don't know what the whole end game is but i'm just hoping it, it just gets resolved and everything i don't want to see nobody nobody's trying to go down after years of work and everything like mine i, I put in with years of mine too I don't want mine going nowhere neither just because of somebody doing copyrights and stuff here and there and stuff. I don't, I don't want that. For me, all I'm saying is just communicate this stuff. If your stance has exactly. changed, that's fine. Exactly. But you shouldn't be able to threaten somebody's livelihood, okay? When you come out and say, I'm good with this stuff, and then you change it and you don't inform nobody. Because the reason why we did more videos is because you verbally said that you were good with it. Like, the reason why we kept on doing it was like, well, so was you saying, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, We could have, but we didn't because it's fine. It's okay. And you went so on and so far, whatever. Yeah, and here's the thing. It's not a big deal. Like We have such a library of stuff that we can pull from and things we can cover that this is not going to be a huge loss for us. It's fine. Like I think we might put out maybe, what, one or two videos on Jubilee a day. We put five videos out a week. It's not a big deal. We can replace that with something else. But my question is, what are they doing to smaller channels? Because I know they're not doing this to the really big ones. And is this just a company that people have hired that have gone AY? Because that's happened before too. It, it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to their credit, like I don't want to say it, but I have contacted them. I emailed them. They've seen the email. Okay.
Okay. You know, I've DM'd them and, you know, because there was no response, I'm like, all right, let me just go about this publicly because, you know, there's no answer privately and, and figure this out. Now, I don't want to slander them. I like their content. Honestly, I think they've fostered some really good discussions in the past. But yeah, yes, it, it, it is a shame. And this is what I've been telling you guys, the viewers about this. We are at the end of the day employees. We don't have, we might, or contractors, but we only really are contracted to YouTube essentially. And this stuff uh -huh. is very fickle. That's why I say I don't take this for granted. I recognize that this shit can disappear at any time. So if it does, or if that ever happens, know that I'll be okay with it. I'm not going to, you know, cry myself to sleep or whatever. But well, we could do something about it. So why don't you just take off the videos? Why? Why would you, why would you keep them if that's a problem? It looks like it's a problem. <laughs> So you could take them down, and then it's not problems gonna be solved. Because I think it sets a bad precedent for copyright stuff on YouTube in general. I can understand that. Yeah, if you just let all these companies who just come in and then want a copyright claim, like, listen, if there was going to be a legal battle, then let, let, let that be the case. And I think that's okay too. Why not? Because then what if everyone else starts copyright striking everything? I understand. Should, would you and concede it, to it, that too? No, that's not what I'm saying. But if, if like for example, we've had copyright strike before, and they were deemed, they were they were ruled that it was. That was falsely done, but now they're first. They're somewhere, somehow going through with this. So, would you want to do a legal battle with that? I don't think that's a horrible idea. I think that's fine, and I think it's a worthwhile thing. Okay, so you want to go with a legal battle? With it. I think I would prefer that. Okay, cool. I didn't. No, I'm, I'm not just sit here and be like, oh, well, the channel gets deleted. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, at least that's what. I, but I, I prefer not having to do any of that because I don't think it's in their mission statement to be copyright striking people and deleting people, and. I, I know so this whole situation is really bizarre because you know what from some creators like I could see it but from this one I'm a little bit more surprised by it but anyways um, that's what's right. going on that's why I've been kind of dealing with in the background so I'll get back to uploading regularly soon in the future but I just got to figure this out because I need to make sure if I'm going to be working on all these other videos that there's still going to be a channel around for you guys to enjoy um, hopefully Jubilee can take care of this and handle this uh, apparently we're going to start getting strikes in the next five days so we'll see what happens at that point but uh, yeah that's what's going on right now what are your thoughts? I think you should take them down for now and take legal actions. I don't think the legal actions. I don't think the legal actions can be taken down. We could. We. I think. I don't think that we can. We don't have. Hold on. We can proceed with legal actions, but and still take those down. We could do both, but whatever. Because this is gonna take a while. It's gonna take a hell of a while. Yeah. And in the meantime, we could lose the channel. So possible. Well, there you guys go. Abba and Preach might just be gone real soon. What are your thoughts? It's possible. <laughs> uh, I know it's wrong, but it feels so... <gasps> all right, all right. So there we have it. Got the information from the horse's mouth itself, so... I don't know. We'll see. Because <clears throat> as of right now... As of right now, they still uploading stuff and everything. So, hence, that's the reason why we're going to be moving on. You know, moving on to this video and everything that's coming up now. So, we're just going to go ahead and just jump right into it. You know, go ahead and jump right into it. I don't think they lost, lost the channel, though. But, I don't know. We'll see. So, apparently... The view. Um, he's taking target to the view, and the view is basically asking, you know, asking around if if they need men. So we're about to see what Alvin Preach is about to go in on on this. So <laughs> let's get it. Here we go. So there's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question: Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly. No. I would say you say yes, <laughs> but you one say no. She thought women needed a man in their lives. Only one. But when men were asked one. a similar question, do we need women? Most of them <laughs> said yes. <laughs> so why do you think that? Oh, is? That's because we think the human race needs to continue. So I know, why? Right? Do and looky here, right over here, Exhibit A. A TikTok debate. Why all the bullshit got to be on TikTok? The crazy stuff. The crazy stuff be on Twitter, but the BS got to be on TikTok. Like, why it got to be like that? But let's continue. I'm not even going to 
try and keep like pausing this all the time. Let, let's let's continue because this is like 12 minutes. So we're going to see what Alvin Preach is going to say about it. Do you think that is because men are useless? <laughs> no, it's because you asked that oh question my on God. TikTok and half the users on TikTok are re retarded. That's yeah. why. There you I go. Because uh, men are useless. Meanwhile, like you're on a set designed by men with equipment yes. made by men, uh, with a whole television set invented by men. Like all this shit. Like if you look at the production crew for this, I guarantee you, ninety five percent of them are men. All the technical <laughs> stuff, vast majority of them are going to be men. But then they'll say men are useless. Five. I know the producer of that show is a man. How do you know? I, I know. I think I've seen him. He probably Brian is. Tedder. There That's you go. What I'm saying though, we. We we are ready to demonize and like we call all these people from the red pill community crazy and uh, they're misogynistic and they set a bad example for young men. Yeah. Because men are useless. What the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah what is daytime that? Daytime TV. Daytime. Okay, misandry is acceptable on daytime television. But misogyny would never. Uh, absolutely. Four never. Five guys never, never, never. Comedy Central talking about how women would be useless would get canned and obliterated get canceled. All so quickly. It's crazy. So quickly. Even, and y'all know that's true. I remember there used to be shows like that. The Man Cave, The Man Show. And guess what? They all got taken off. Pickup artist shows got taken off. And it's okay. That's fine. Oh, I do remember that cake. show. What is this? And the producer is right there, and he's like, <laughs> "That is great TV." And he's is the producer is not? He doesn't care about the morals. He's thinking about content. He think which, about which the, he parts, think about right? the money. There was one part where whoever's in the background thought this would be a great topic, and they were right. It is why because we're talking about it, and a bunch of other YouTubers are talking about it. And it's probably popular online. It's viral. Okay, so there's a content portion of this where they're just trying to basically oh, that's crazy baiting, and it's effective. Because y'all commented right now. I already know this video is going to pop off. Yep. Probably going to yep. get at least seven, yep. 800,000 views. Yep. So it's good content. It is. Okay. So you're going to play the rest of the clip? Or but no? here's the part two. There's people doing this kind of shit for free on TikTok. Who really think this goofy ass shit. Yeah. What? And say this kind of stuff. And I'm I'm thinking too. Well, yeah, myself, it originated from TikTok anyway. What kind anyway. of example are you guys setting for your sons? I've got a problem that I'm pretty sure Ugh. you can help me with. Yes, you will be paid for helping me. Actually, no. What kind of example are you setting for the young men of today yeah. where they're basically saying men are useless? And some That's of y'all are going to call this empowerment. Do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. And by the I, way, I, 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 I hate differentiate that. differentiate between straight men and gay men because I think I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip <laughs> like gay men. Nobody can help you accessorize. What? Like oh, my God. What I the hell? I'm going to let this shit play. But the amount, yo, this is what what, what the right wingers talk yo. about. Yo, this is actually woke garbage. Yes, men are useless, but not the gay ones. But I not would the gay never, ones. Ever say anything bad about the LGBTQ community because they're on the bottom layer, and all the people who are straight and cisgendered are oh all God, oppressing yeah. the people on the bottom layer, and that's just how society functions. There's layers of oppression, and through intersectionality, I could recognize that gay men are very much different than straight. Shut the f up with this corny shit yes I hate using the word woke in fact on this channel i pretty much never use it because most of the time when right use it makes me cringe this is that this is nonsense you couldn't live life without gay men bitch where do you live how do you not function without gay dudes but then you think you function without going in Every boy time you have a problem you got a plumber you got a boy whatever it is you're not calling no gay dude stop no nope. Other than your hairstylist, exactly. most gay dudes are probably not worth interacting with you on a professional level. Man, shut the f*** up. All the things that you do, probably the fillers and the boob job and all of that that you've got. Men. Was perfected by those men. That those men. Yes. It was done by men. Yes. So all those things, uh, the people that are working on the canvas for the gay people to apply the makeup on is men. It's a collaboration of both. One is not better than the other. It's just that... Nope. It's, it, you're not you're not like suddenly woke or great because you're bashing one versus the other. Bro, you're not good. It feels like 2016 again. And nobody can gossip like gay men. Nobody. And that's how you all about gossip like gay men. all nobody the damn time. You, uh, from keep you from doing harm to your to yourself uh, like gay men. But with the exception of somebody like Steve, I think Steve is very self sufficient. That's Joy's husband. But like he is. my he is. husband. It takes a village of women <laughs> to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving, and living in his own filth. He can, really? you know, 
Yeah. But you, no. guys, but you guys feel you guys are married I, to people I have that are a, more. I have hand. Who, who is this woman? Is she's married to yes. a rich dude? Let me let me find yo the view cast. That's uh, yo, yo let me see this. If she yes. is, if she is married to some rich dude, Anna Navarro. Does she sound like an Anna Navarro. She does. Al Sadinas. Now look. Oh my God. Okay. The hell. Oh my God. Al Cardenas. Al Cardenas. Al Cardenas. That sounds rich as fuck. American lawyer and lobbyist. <laughs> oh my god politician conservative activist who is a partner in the law firm what? of squire but paton boggs and the advocacy all oh my days let me look up this man's net worth let me find out he has oh my god as one of the washington dc there you go lobbyists by the hill newspaper so she right married now. a millionaire talking about oh my god he's so useless my husband <laughs> it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated starving and living in his own filth he can really? you know yeah how about you guys no. but you guys feel you guys are married I, to people I have that a, are more i have hand <laughs> <laughs> you guys are I, I, have a, I have handy. Don't throw her in. <laughs> he, is, he fixes everything when things go bump. Thank you. Handy -handy. Listen, let me tell you guys something. All <laughs> these standing right here at this table right now, none of them cook their own meals. They don't clean their own houses. They all got nannies. They all got cleaning services. They True. all do that, okay? If you've been in Hollywood long enough, you know none of these women are doing none of this shit when they're on television half the time. That's cap. They talking about these all big like, cap ma'am you hire women to do your labor because you operate in the world like a man everything when things go bump in the night he's the one that goes downstairs when there's a bug to be exterminated he does the extermination no nope. when there is something to be fixed he fixes it he throws out the what do you mean no he throws no. out the recyclables i enjoy all the man stuff so my let's go, wait a second i know what you're gonna say that's okay She's really talking about a servant. Let's face it. No, it's a handyman. Well, well, she's talking no, about. It's a huh? And so, what's wrong with a handyman? Well, because when you need to get your shit, hold on. When you need to get your shit fixed, yo, you call that. Hold up, yo. Hold up. I want to get on this part right here. No, 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 no. That ain't good enough. Since when a man becomes a servant? Like, answer that question. Like, seriously, just because he's handy around the house, you know, because he's taking care of this stuff. My thing is, the question is, are you going to take care of it? No. So why not he take care of it like he's supposed to and like he should? Why not? But yeah, you sitting up here talking about some, oh, label him quote unquote servant. He's not a servant. Like. I'm right now I'm 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 about in the, I'm agreeing wholeheartedly with Alvin Preach because the fact that this is like BS. I don't even watch the view. Why the hell am I even watching it right now? But still, man, this is like a topic that is trending all over TikTok right now. And this is a bunch of BS, yo, for real. I, I'm starting to just don't like TikTok at all because it seemed like all the the dirty stuff be aired out on TikTok all the time and stuff. Somehow it don't come across my timeline, but I don't know. But let's continue. The handyman, which is a man. Because he's a man, we're just going to put him aside? But hold up. The stuff that you guys are talking about is cooking and cleaning. Isn't that a servant's job, too? <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here. Manny. Oh, it's a handyman with benefits. We do not have... Well, but, but the things that you're describing... You could pay somebody to do that. We're not talking about that. Yo, the argument is horrid. <laughs> and the things that women do, we can't hire somebody for? The argument is... Uh. Man, you do hire women to do that shit. Yes. <laughs> what about the inner life of a man? That's what this is about. I need my man three to four times a week. And oh. <laughs> And then the what? rest of the time I need a wife. Because I've always said Everyone that needs a wife. Huh? I tease Vicky. Okay. What Wait, the fuck? Wh what? What? So she just essentially went on TV and said, I need my man for his dick three times. Do you guys really think men can get up here and say my wife is just a whole lot every now and then? Bro, the level of disgust Bro. that these people are displaying is crazy. 
But my producer this in the morning, I was like, if you'd like to join Max and I, not in that way, <laughs> but like Vicky and I could kill it as a household mm -hmm. runners. Like yeah. we would be laughing, giggling, doing all the things, and Max would be so psyched I was wasting all my words somewhere else. Anyway. <laughs> I'm so lonely. That's how it would end up. Yes. Like, okay, listen. This man versus woman shit is Cringe. getting old. It's getting old. Tired, bruh. It's getting old. old. Tired. Don't least. Oh, you know what would happen? These women would live together and drive each other crazy. You know how I know? I'll tell you how I know this is true. That two women living together is just not always going to work out. Because lesbians break up. Right? So it would be a perfect combo. And, and the other day, Caleb said to me, this is my youngest son. He said, Mama, I want a spare mom. And I didn't know what he meant. Oh. And he's like, huh? he said, Genevieve has a spare mom. And I realized the parents were divorced. Nanny? No, oh. a, a divorced. The hell? Man. A, an extra mom, mom, like two moms. Oh. Oh. And so I asked him, because at first I was a little wounded. I was like, what am I not doing? You know, and he's like, no, I just think at bedtime, you always have to pay attention to the other kids too. And if we had a spare mom, you, dad, and you could, you know, then you just get a focus on me. And it was yeah. so sweet. He well, didn't ask for a spare dad, by the way. He asked yeah. for a spare mom. I took this totally differently in how I prepped yeah. because broadly speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless. Like I think in the political moment, the people who are Guys, don't hold saying back. what needs to be <laughs> said <laughs> in my part. Party. It's all women, the very few men, with the exception of Mike Pence and a few others, are saying what they need to. But in life, like, I need my husband. I don't know if I need any other men, but he is irreplaceable. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, I think so. But that's I mean, what I'm saying. You like our husband. There we go. Finally, somebody that makes yeah, sense. Wait till you're married 20 years and you'll see how replaceable well, the reason they are. that women, I think that the reason that's women you. stay married for as long as they do is because they have a lot of girlfriends. They have a village. They, they have girlfriends. Because I always have to initiate the conversations. He'll he'll step up, but I have I to thought you were going to say initiate. Oh, I don't I like I, oh, I just I told you guys, I have eight girlfriends from Panama here who are oh. girlfriends for 50 years since they were in kindergarten. Oh, I love that. And, it's that and, and they were saying yesterday that they've gone through divorces, they've gone through challenges, and, and having that village of women has made it possible well, we for are them. more collaborative than men. I think yeah. there have been studies that say that women have much more, much closer friendship relationships than men do. Because I, again, I think we have to make it. I don't know about that now. I don't know. Gay men are in their, our, in their own category. Yeah, yeah, but we're not married to gay men, okay? Oh. But okay, women, well, women have conversations about their feelings. Men talk about sports, it's cars, yeah. all that stuff. I don't know. My husband talks about his feelings with his Maybe he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe. I mean, maybe. Maybe. That's funny. Let's just... Let, funny. Yeah, that's funny. Still, let's just disregard... I'll give it to her. I'm not even going to mention Let's it. just disregard all that shit. Yeah, no. Trying to put a value on... It was a joke. Yeah, yeah, it was a joke. Absolutely. It's not the fact that it was a joke. It was the accumulation of all of, 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 all, all that you know what i mean every time I know. she was speaking she got dismissed yeah the last one was a little funny one that's funny Gay! that's funny but still <laughs> it was the timing of it though. but still it's just yep. the accumulation of every time she was speak speaking she's been dismissed when she's trying to bring a little bit of balance it's like no that's not the agenda the agenda right now is to hate uh, men there you go exactly I'm like come on I, I just think this i just think this okay i'm not gonna sit here and just whine about this shit because like it's normal i've seen this like They're right since i was forever but I'll say this. Hmm. I just think it sets a bad example. Like, what are you guys saying to young men nowadays? You know? You I know, right? Say, hey, guys, it's better if you guys are a bit more emotional. Sure. Saying stuff like men are useless, men are trash. Like, bro, it's the same as these dudes be out here like, yo, women are bitches. And you guys are like, oh, my God, misogyny. Sure. What do you think you're doing? What kind of message are you sending to the world? Exactly. You know, men already feel like oftentimes us from society from a schooling standpoint from a you know relationship standpoint from a dating standpoint. And then there's messaging like this on television. What signal are you guys sending? You know, I'm always very careful, at least I think I try to be, to not say like, oh, women are useless and women are, but there's people who do say stuff, say stuff like that. And I always think it's bad, right? Because I don't want my audience or the young women watching to, to start internalizing that because I know how it fucks with their head. Do you guys not yes. think about that shit? I don't know. They think, it they think about it every chance. That's all I think. Anything else? Nope. Oh boy, I swear, boy. Yeah, that's some crazy stuff, though, yo, for real. That's crazy. Crazy. Like, seriously. Why in the world. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about this no more. That's just straight up whack. Straight up. I don't even watch the view. And I'm just. I'm just over that, man. That's, that's crazy. I'm over it.